Hello and welcome back. So in the previous video we have completed our computer objective. Now the next one will be for the generators. We need to turn off these both generators. So for this let's create a new C sharp script by the name of generator turn off. Let's open this up and in here we will remove this and create a header by the name of generator lights and button the next header will be the generator sound effect and radius okay now create a public game object let's name this as green light and create a new public game object and let's name this as red light so when we turn off the generators we will turn off on the red light and then we have a public pool which will be a button okay and then in the next header we will create a private load by the name of radius and for the generators the radius will be 2f and then we will say public player script we need a reference to our player okay and then we need a reference to the animator of the generator when we play the game you will notice that the fans of the generators will be going round and round so when we stop the generator then we want the fins and the sound of the generator to be just run off so that's why we need a reference to the animator so for that we will say public animator and let's name this as animation then also we want to turn off the generator sound so we will say public audio source and let's name this as audio source as well now create a awake function and inside this awake when the game starts we will make the button false because we didn't press the button when the game starts so make sure that you may uh, set it to false then we need our audio source so we will say audio source and after that in here we will create an update function inside this update we will say that if we press the Q button and also we will check for the button position so we will say transform dot position we will also check the player position so we will say player dot transform dot position and if that two are less than the radius then it means that we are close to the button so when we are close to the button we will and if we press that button okay as you can see if we press that button then what we want to do we want the button to be true that yes we press that and also we want to stop the animations so we will say animation dot enabled let's set this to false after this we want to disable the green light so we will see green light dot set active false okay and we want the red light to appear so we will make the red light appear so we will say red light dot set active let's set this to true after this we want to stop the audio source of the generators so we will say audio source dot stop and after that we will complete our objective so right here we will for now leave a comment for objective complete and now let's create a else if so in the else if we will say that if the button is equals to false then what we will do we will simply do 
the vice versa as we did in the if condition we will make the green light true and the red light false okay and that was the script for the generator now save the script but right here we need to type vector 3 dot distance okay make sure to type that or else it will give out an error get back to unity now let's first of all assign everything to our generator this first generator so if you go inside the environment then warehouse then inside the generators that is our first generator here is our second one in here on the generator fan as you can see we have this animator and also mesh collider and everything and right here we have this button so on this button we will provide our generator turn off so just simply drag and drop the generator turn off right there and then we need to provide our red light right there and our green light right there right here we need to provide the player so simply drag and drop the player then we need to provide the animator so the animator is right there what we can do right here is log this inspector and then from here we will add another inspector and let's move this inspector right here okay make sure that you click there now right here select the generator fan audio source okay so uh, this is just a simple thing which we did right here you need to lock the first inspector okay select the generator fan and then lock that inspector from here click on add tab and create uh, open up a new inspector then drag and drop that inspector there then select the button and then drag and drop the animator there okay then close the tab unlock this now if you click on the button as you can see the animator is already now assigned now we need to provide the audio source so from here on the button we will add our audio source okay so add the audio source and in the audio source we will provide the generator clip right here is the generator clip so just add that okay and make sure that it is a 3d sound and let's make the volume downer because it will be louder if we play the game okay let's make the volume this okay and just simply try and drop the audio source in there now we have everything assigned for this and right here when the game start we want the red light to be disabled we just want the green light to be enabled okay and then when we press the Q button then we want the green light to be turned off and we will turn on the red light okay and now we can do the same for this generator so as you can see here is the animator click on this button add the script and right here we need to provide our red light then our green light right here we will provide the player and the animator so close the tab click on add tab add the inspector tab now click on this fan let's provide the animator right there now, let's close that tab let's unlock it click on the button we have the animator now let's add the audio source and basically we need the same audio source as this one so we can just copy component from there click on the generator and right here we need to click on that and click on paste component as new and as you can see everything is already set up now try and drop the audio source there and it is now completed And guys we need to click on this button again okay and make sure that we don't disable the red light because we already 
did that by using the script if you check the script right here if you didn't press the button then you want the green light to be appear and the red light to be false okay so we don't need that right here now as everything is completed let's play the game and you can notice the generator sound it is really slow but you can notice the generator sound as, as you can see the fans are also turn on as you can see okay now what we will do let's first of all turn off the first generator so if we press on Q as you can see both of them are now disabled because the radius for these two are one and we are closer to both of them so that's why both of them just turn off at the same time you can actually move this button a little bit right there okay to right here in order to turn off both of the generators differently so come right here select this whole button and let's move this button right there now let's select the other button let's move it a little bit there okay and that will be it now let's play the game let me lock the cursor let's swing towards it now if we disable this one now as you can see the fan is turned off the sound is off now only this generator is turned on let's disable that one as well as you can see so with this done see you guys in the next video